Uh, all right, welcome back. Oh, all right, welcome back to the Reptile Rumble. November Joy here, and now, and now it's fun. Oh, this is the uh, this is the part of the are, are the, the, the final boss of this game that people people actually have trouble with. You can probably the see the part that everyone thinks is the final boss, but guess what? There's another face. Yeah, there is. You think this would be the final boss, but uh, he's not. Anyway, as you can see here, there is a pattern here. It's just that defeating him with the sword is, or is at best, a very time-consuming. So what endeavor. am I fighting here? Upside down, mother brain? Uh, you're fighting. Uh, it looks like a mon it looks like a Final Fantasy monster. Is this the crazy killer clown that poisons the river? Uh, I don't, uh maybe. He, I guess he sort of. I haven't played Final Fantasy VI in a while. I think that might be the case. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, this isn't him. But it'd be cool if it, it'd be kind of cool if it was. Anyway. Anyway, you may notice that I haven't taken much damage. That's because that's because the most dangerous part in this battle is that L is, is, is touching is touching Jokio himself, trying to trying to slash him. Because Jokio, as to the fireballs only deal one bar of damage, Jokio himself touching him deals three. And it's very easy to touch him while trying to slash him. So yeah. Anyway, th anyway, that's him dead. He got the death he deserved. Real. Thank God you're saying! Anyway, typo mode. Let's go, Father! Let's get out of this temple! Please wait, before we go, the demon statues, we have to pull them from the temple! Wow, well, we've still got time, before the black moon shines! Real, what's that? Well, shit! Is it a lunar eclipse? That must be it! That's what the Black Moon meant! Oh no! The Demon Statue! You know, I think you still got time! Nope, not on time. <laughs> I don't think eclipses move that fast! <laughs> uh, well, this game they do. Anyway, it's a spend point. Because why not? So now we're fighting the fetus of a xenomorph. Yeah, we're we get to now we get to fight uh, the, main, uh, the best final boss ever, a xenomorph fetus, and I might actually need that restore point considering how this is already going. Yeah, the, the biggest problem here is here is all the nasty fireballs that shoot it shoots at you. They're actually pretty hard to dodge sometimes. Yeah, I actually do need the restore point. So, so if I wasn't using restore points, uh, I'll have to go all the way back to six one after that. I thought that happens if you get a game over. Uh, no, even if you just die a single time against the boss and send you back to 6-1. Okay, never mind then. Save po restore point away. Anyway... Yeah, this boss actually has some li uh, normally this boss isn't really this hard. It depends on how well you on how well you can dodge the fireballs, because the fireballs are the, the as you might expect in this case it's actually reversed from Jokio. There's no threat to touching the boss. Clearly you must be the son of God. Ah my hand! Don't hit my tail! You're hurting me! Yeah, that's the point. I'm supposed to hurt you. You don't gotta hurt me. Just bring me as your little crap. You're dead. Sorry, you have to die. Wake up, father! Wake up! Phew! I haven't got much longer. This temple is about to break apart. Oh my god. Take that woman and escape. I like how she never gets a name. What are you saying, father? I can't just leave you. Ryu, you are a man now. I guess it is time to reveal it stats. Which means you die too. Ryu, good luck. Father! 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 Dun 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 
Castlevania, directed by Michael Bay. It exploded. No, it's exploding. What you don't see is the rocket ship ascending Ken into space to have Street Fighter 2010. <laughs> is that what we're going with here? So that's what happened yes. again, and that he's not actually dead? It's the actual timeline of Street Fighter 2010. And thus, Dracula was defeated! <laughs> that wasn't, Dra wasn't Dracula we were beating, it was a bunch of other dudes, actually. Anyway, he finally takes off his hood! Real! This is Sea Swallow. I, of course, that's what you're saying. Damn FBI! Well, what? Here we go. Alright, you're in deck. Let's hear it. Here we go. So, this was your plan all along. I will get you for this boss dead. Here we go. I get two kinds of payment. The first I have already received. The second is no faster. Alright. You why the payment you have already received. She's right in front of me. There was yeah, romantic. Know my name. It's romantic. And then they romantically headbutt. Oh, this looks oh I love where you Hayabusa and X woman. I don't even know your name. Irene. Irene Lee. Lou, something like that. Well, Irene, look, the sun is rising. Everything is so bright now. The darkness is finally over. What they don't know is that that's actually a nuclear explosion coming right towards them. <laughs> my god. My god, Foster, Foster broke out all the stops. He nuked whatever area of South America this area this place is in. Anyway, here's your guidance staff. So, so what do you think about this game, Mr. Damien? Uh, it's pretty short, but... and really freaking hard. But it's good, but it's good for the NES. It's, it's, it's like an example of a, of a classic game, of a classic game on, on the NES. And you know, also, I really love. I I also call this the pioneer of cutscenes in video games. It's it, it's it's what it's one of the one of the first to popularize the use of cutscenes like like this, and it get and it gets plenty of kudo points just for that alone, as far as I'm concerned. So. Hey. Wow, a Naga helped with the artworks. My God. <laughs> Look, look, they aren't speciesist at all, unlike you. And he, and, and there's weird, there's Jockio, the weird, he looks like a brain, like brain guy, but he's just a regular, like, mage when you fight him. That's what I said, it looks like upside down mother brain. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they gave him that design in the cutscenes, but I guess it works. So yeah, personally, what I think of this I game... I love more Yama-san. I don't think... Uh, personally, I, re I really like this game, like, a lot. Like, quite a bit, even though it ha does have a number of, like, significant issues. <laughs> I pressed the tough shoulder so long it went dark. And he, so, yeah. See, so, yeah, I, I really like this game. Even I'd, even I'd say that... Yeah, like, this is a good example example of, 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 of an NES Thank action game. Thank you for playing! And see you next, Take more. See you next. Great example of NES forever. So, so yeah. What that means is Ninja Gaiden too. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> if that eventually come, eventually come, if that, if I, if I feel like doing that one, I might eventually record that game as well once I've actually played it and finished it. I got the stage. I will join if you want. And then Ninja Gaiden three as well, but I require a lot more practicing for Ninja Gaiden three. So for, for I me, will join for both if you prefer, if you want. All right, I'll all right. I'll see. I'll see about playing through both of them, practicing until I can get good enough at them to record them, and then and then hopefully that'll turn out well. So anyway.
hopefully, hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys enjoy the playthrough. I think Dave, Damien, and I enjoy the playthrough a lot. So anyway, I guess I'll see you, you guys. You didn't need to tell them my name. Yeah, you can tell them my name if you want. No, my name, my identity. <laughs> See, anyway, anyway, this is Nathan and Damien, I guess, and we will see you guys later, next time on Reptile ah! Rumble. Next time on Reptile Rumble, we'll be playing something else. Maybe it'll be Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3.